Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to have you guys back. I missed you. Like I really did. The week goes by and I'm like, where's my day? Okay. Anyway, um, so today what I wanted to talk about or go over is um, nude lipsticks that look well on women of color. Um, it's really difficult for us to find some really pretty new lipsticks without making us look washed away or ashy. So, um, we can wear new lipsticks, number one. We can wear new lipsticks. Did somebody say that? Yes, she did. We can wear new lipsticks. Okay. It is called Mocha Licious. I like Mocha Licious and it's more of a brownish nude if you can see the top up there it is definitely more on the um darker side another nyx this one more is more like a shimmery white undertone and it looks like it's almost the same color as the inside part of my hand almost. So, going to swatch that one next. And it's got like a white shimmer to it. See? And you can just tell which ones will look really good on you compared to the back of your hand. That's a really good way to tell if that particular lip color will look phenomenal on you or not. Um, and that was made by NYX and it's called, it really doesn't have, um, a name. It's actually number 590. So if you go to Walgreens, it's only, what, I paid a dollar for this? Yes, it was only a dollar. I mean, like, you can't go wrong, um, with that. Let's move on. You see how it's really close to my skin color? Look at that. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. And I'm going to swipe it right next to it. Oh my goodness, it's really pretty. It's really hard to tell or to see. It's the third one here. Let's barely see that there. I have three so far. There we go. They see the light hitting it, the third one. This one is this one. And this is by Revlon. It's called Mink. And it's really cream. It's really pretty. I really, I wear this one. Oh, every one that I'm showing you, I wear a lot. So, I pick my top 10. The color on this is really, let see. Let me get close to my skin tone. It's in the brown family, so it's really pretty. And I just swatched this on my arm, if you can see. It is this one here. I can't flip it around. I should have probably put it, there we go. You can see that really pretty. And it's, you, it, on my hand, it shows up as a burgundy looking color, but it's actually a really pretty brown nude color for me. And that color was called um, Untainted Spice, number 950 by Maybelline. This one is also by Maybelline and it's called Nearly There. And it's more on the, I got some colors that were really similar. Look at what it looks. I'm going to swatch this one and oh my god this one is really pretty you can see it really really good there we go you can see it really good here it's this one we're gonna just bring that one out some more very pretty for women of color this was one of my favorite ones um, it's called Nearly There and it's by Maybelline. 
Next happens to be the one that I am wearing. Okay, I held it too long. <laughs> okay, anyway, it's this one that I'm wearing. This is one of my favorites. And I don't think I have to swatch it or anything because I'm actually wearing it. Um, and this one is called Stormy Sahara. And it's $9.45. This is made also by Maybelline. Um, Maybelline makes some really good quality products, you guys. Um, and this is another one that I wear in the wintertime. And it's got a really pretty, pretty shimmer pink undertone. But it's a pinky nude color. So, um, yeah, I really love it. And you can see how cute it looks on me. And I can wear it. I actually wear almost all of these except this really light one from NYX that I showed you guys that I can wear to work because I work in corporate America and I cannot um I can't wear those really bright reds and pinks wish I could but I can't okay so the next color is another one that's on the more of the this one is almost almost like stupid nude on me like this is the only L'Oreal one I think I have yeah and this is one of my favorites I keep saying that and I put that on my arm Let's see right here it's this one you're looking at yes. even though she's not a nude I really love her this is I use the hell out of this lipstick, so let's see. And this is, you know, pink is, here we go. I think I've done a video where I have the pink color on. I have to look into that for you guys, but. And I will say this is a nude from MAC. Um, and this is Hue. This is it's really pretty if you wear a brown pencil on it first. All of these require brown pencils on women of color. If not, then you look crazy. You're going to look crazy. You're going to look washed away. You're going to look ashy. It doesn't make sense for you to even try them without lining your lips first. And I don't mean a thin line. You have to bring it in and make it thick. And then either you need a lip pencil to blend it down and then put the color in the inner portion of your lips. On the outside, it should be lined in brown. I don't mean like in 1992 where people line their lips dark brown and you put on lip gloss. Nope, mm -mm, nope, that ain't hot. That ain't what I'm saying, dude. What I'm saying is you find a soft brown lip pencil and then... Um, you pick one of the colors in which I've shown you today, which I showed you a lot, and um, then get a lip gloss and put it on top of it. Blend it in. It's all about blending. Once you learn how to blend, I think you'll be just phenomenal at applying your own makeup. So. Turn the lamp on, let me talk to you. See the light bulb, tell us something to you. Makes it a little harder, to tell a lie, don't it? It makes it difficult, to work and hide, don't it? Tell the truth to me, the truth to me. Come close to me if that's you. I wanna see the details inside those beautiful eyes. Myself ain't never talked to you like that before. No. So terrified of beautiful Scared of the good more than the evil Scared of the light more than the dark Scared of the truth so much more than a lie I'm scared of me, I'm scared for me 
the music. Since the age of 14, know we saw my mama that we get up on the hood. A young nigga from the bucket north side of Wilmington. Even then, understood. I shouldn't be here right now. Niggas where I'm from around the day. Locked down. A little while ago, my nigga said, Do my nigga. I reply, yo, oh, my nigga. I know, my nigga. I've been on some bullshit. But I'm back now, my nigga. Good look, my nigga. I need a motivation to ride into the wall. I was scared of you.